Welcome. In front of me is a Huawei P50 Pro and today I will show you how you can go through the setup of this device. So when you boot it up for the first time you will be presented with the uh, welcoming screen where you get to select your language in this uh, super disorderly manner. So find your desired language from one of the bubbles, which I'll be sticking with English. And then we can select get started, which brings us to selecting our region and then terms of use. Now for the terms of use, you do need to select that you have read and agreed to them. I can tap on details to actually read uh, exactly what you're agreeing to. And from there, we can proceed to the next page, which is inserting a SIM card. So this step is optional. You don't need to insert your SIM card right now. Uh, it's showing up throughout the setup process, just so actually, I have no idea why it's showing here. Normally, and almost every other device, uh, you have SIM card uh, and Wi-Fi connection just so you can later on log into your Google account. But as we probably all know, Huawei is not allowed uh, to have Google. So I have no clue why this is here. I mean, for obvious reasons, maybe just so you can insert your SIM card and have your phone functioning, but you can do that at any point. You don't need a specific screen for that. Now here we have the Wi-Fi connection page. Uh, so again, I'm just gonna skip this. Oh, nope, I can't. So I guess I'm just gonna add a network. There we go. So from the next page, we have data and privacy. Just let's go to the next page. Device protection. So here we can actually set up some kind of protection to our phone. We have option between a fingerprint, we have face recognition, and additionally, as every other device, we have pin pattern or password. Now, if you're planning to use any of the two above options, meaning fingerprint or face recognition, you are still required to set up a physical way of unlocking the device. That is, so if something happens to your finger or your face, or maybe the sensors on the phone, you still have some way of accessing your device. But I'll be setting up just a pattern right here, so I'm gonna select right here. Now by default it opts into a six digit pin, but like I said, I'm gonna be setting up a pattern. You can draw it, repeat it, and there we go, it's now set. And it backs out to this page, so we can now add a fingerprint or face recognition, and if you don't want to do so, you can simply skip this. Now have Huawei ID, so this is uh, something that you will need to actually access the uh, app gallery, which is the equivalent to uh, Google Play Store. So Huawei uh, ID is basically equivalent to like a Google account on any kind of Android. But because I'm not planning to right now, so I'm just gonna select next and this completely kind of disregards it, I guess. Oh no, there's no option here. So yeah, it just progresses to actual, the actual login page right here. So you could log into it or you can just kind of skip this by selecting don't have a Huawei ID and then selecting maybe later, uh, just as you would do on a iPhone actually. And then leave, because why would you have that option visible on the main page when you have to access through some sub menus? Anyway, on the next page we have media services, so we have enable Huawei video services, enable Huawei book services. Uh, I assume this is again associated with the Huawei ID and uh, similar to uh, Google alternatives. This is just a streaming platform and a bookstore. That's about it. So I'm going to go to later because I'm not planning to use those. Do have Huawei mobile services. Uh, there's a couple services that are already enabled, like we have the ad ID statistics and personalized ads. Now, because personalized ads are the biggest cancer on any device, I'm going to disable them. Now, you can mind to the reverse psychology right here where it is turned off by default, making you kind of like question it. Amazing. We have also app auto update. So when a new update comes to the device, it will automatically install it. And the uh, RID statistics is basically gathering data on uh, what you look for and give you ads based on this. Or wait, no, that's basically this. So what the heck is this? When enabled, your information will be used to evaluate and improve the performance of our... So it's basically the same thing. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, disable. Bye. Okay. 
So, uh, once I have basically disabled the two things that I don't want, I can proceed to the next page, which is Enhanced Services. So, more trash right here. You can read exactly what this is. Uh, I'm not really interested in anything like it, so I'm just gonna select no thanks. Of user experience improvement programs, it's not like we didn't just literally disable something uh, similarly uh, named or similar e explanation. So again, later because I don't want to use it. Sure analytics, again, no. Uh, location services, now location services are typically used by applications that kind of want to know where you're located at, as an example something that I don't know if it's an accurate example here, but uh, it's still adequate for every other phone, which is Google Maps. So Google Maps, if uh, you have location on, it will show you where you are located on the maps. Now here we have like, what is it, petal maps, whatever they're calling it. Uh, so that's that should work basically the same. Obviously, if you want this, you can disable it or uh, keep it enabled, but if you don't want it, uh, you can select, select later. And if I'm correct, it's probably going to completely dis disregard it and still keep it on. Uh, keep your software up to date. Um, now, if you don't want to have uh, automatic updates uh, because it was disabled by default on the uh, page where you had the personalized ads and a couple additional things, I just ask you again here if you want it. Uh, if you don't want it, you have update manually option right here, hidden in the text. And select don't enable. Then we have data import so here we can import our data from basically any other device now this is using the uh, their proprietary application I believe it's called the phone clone so by installing it uh, you will then uh, be able to connect the two devices together and select what you want to transfer over to this device and even though I don't really like Huawei I do have to say their uh, phone clone application is actually quite good it allows you to not only transfer the apps themselves but also things like the app data which you can simply pick which kind of app data you want to transfer over uh, which means that once transferred over if you for instance transfer something like a bank account app right uh, you can transfer that application along with all of its data meaning the account and all the passwords that are behind it and everything so you don't actually need to re-log into it so that is really nice, I do appreciate that. But I'm setting up this device as new, so that's what I'm gonna be selecting right here. And by default, it automatically uh, here, uh, which I do appreciate as well, uh, asks me if I want to use a gesture navigation. So if you do want to use it, you can select uh, try gestures. It will give you a quick guide on how to use it, which might be very difficult considering the screen protector that I have applied just for the protection right here. Yep, I'm just gonna close this. So from here I can select, um, I can choose the actual uh, method so we can finish and have gesture navigation or we can change navigation method right here. And as you can see, it switches to buttons and I can select finish now, which doesn't finish. It just brings me to app gallery and just some kind of uh, random applications that the device would like to install. So we have some game, we have uh, in post, some applications like TikTok, uh, stores, and so on. Uh, I'll select all and then deselect all because it's the quickest way uh, to basically not selecting anything. And from there I can go to the next page without actually installing anything, which finishes up the setup. I'm gonna quickly check uh, one more thing. Yes, pull it down, there we go. So it looks like location actually is turned off by default if you select to have it off. I was kind of curious about that one. So anyway, that is how you could go through the setup of this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.